Warren. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Congressman Price, more than 100 million Americans now receive their health care through Medicare and Medicaid programs. These are seniors, people with disabilities, middle class families who have parents in nursing homes, countless numbers of young children, and they all benefit from these programs. So I want to understand the changes to Medicare and Medicaid that you have already proposed. The budget that you recently authored as chair of the House Budget Committee would have cut spending on Medicare by $449 billion over the next decade. Is that right? I don't have the numbers right in front of me, I, but what I we're have trying... numbers. What, well, then I assume you're correct. All what, right. What so you said you'd cut it by 400... Medicare, cut Medicare by $449 billion. Your FY17 budget proposal also would have cut Medicaid funding that goes to the state governments by more than one trillion dollars. Is that correct? You know, I think, Senator, the, the, the metrics that we use for the success of these programs is asking, not necessarily easy, whether yes the no. amount of money into it is, is, is what you propose to cut a trillion dollars for Medicaid? What we believe is appropriate is to... Do you want me to, to read you the number out of this? No, I'm sure you're correct. What we believe is appropriate is to make certain that the individuals receiving the care are actually receiving I, I care. I understand why you think you're right to cut it. I'm just asking the question. Did you propose to cut more than a trillion dollars? out of Medicaid over the next 10 years. You, you have the numbers before you. Is that a yes? You have the numbers before you. I'll take it as a yes. So as I'm sure you're aware, during his campaign for president, President-elect Trump was very clear about his views on Medicare and Medicaid. Uh, as Senator Sanders has quoted extensively, President-elect Trump said, I am not going to cut Medicare or Medicaid. Now, when President-elect Trump said, I am not going to cut Medicare or Medicaid, do you believe he was telling the truth? I believe so, yes. Yeah, you, okay. Given your record of proposing massive cuts to these programs, along with several other members of this committee, I sent the president-elect a letter in December asking him to clarify his position. And he hasn't responded yet, so I was hoping you could clear this up. Can you guarantee to this committee that you will safeguard president-elect Trump's promise and while you are HHS secretary, you will not use your administrative authority to carry out a single dollar of cuts to Medicare or Medicaid eligibility or benefits. What, what the question presumes is that, that money is the metric. In my belief, yes, I am from a scientific money. standpoint, if patients aren't receiving care, even though we're providing the resources, then it doesn't Please, work it, for patients. I, I'm sorry to interrupt, but we're very limited on time. The metric is money. And the quote from the president-elect of the United States was not a long discourse on this. He said he would not cut dollars from this program. So that's the question I'm asking you. Can you assure this committee that you will not cut one dollar from either Medicare or Medicaid should you be confirmed to this position? Senator, I believe that the metric ought to be the care that the patients so are I'd receiving. I'll take that as a no. I, uh, it, it's, 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 it's that that's the wrong metric. Well, we ought to be putting forth I, the resources. I'm not asking you whether or not you think you have a better metric. I'm asking you a question about dollars. Yes or no? What we ought to do is put forward the resources in order to take you know, care really of the patients. simple questions. And frankly, the millions of Americans who rely on Medicare and Medicaid today are not going to be very reassured by your notion that you have some metric other than the dollars that they need to provide these services. You know, you might want to print out President-elect Trump's statement, I am not going to cut Medicare or Medicaid, and post that above your desk in your new office, because Americans will be watching to see if you follow through on that promise. Now, I also would like to follow up on Senator Franken's question. I think there was something there that didn't quite get answered. As you know, Congressman, one, the one goal of the Affordable Care Act was to push the health care industry to provide higher quality care at lower cost. And under the ACA, Medicare was recently allowed to change the way that it pays hospitals for hip and knee replacements to something called a bundle. And that means Medicare pays a set price for the care associated with hip and knee replacement. 
And then the hospitals, not Congress, will decide the most effective implants, uh, reduce second surgeries, better fight infections, how to spend their money to deliver better service at higher cost. Now, I've supported this change because the research shows that it really means you get better care at lower prices. But I know the policy is controversial because it affects how hospitals are paid, which in turn affects how much money the manufacturers of these hip and knee replacements can make. And one of the companies is the company raised by Mr. Franken, uh, Senator Franken, and that is Zimmer Biomet. They're one of the world's leading manufacturers of hip and knees, and they make more money if they can charge higher prices and sell more of their products. The company knows this, and so do the stock analysts. So on March 17, 2016, you purchased stock in Zimmer Biomet. Exactly six days after you bought the stock on March 23, 2016, you introduced a bill in the House called the HIP Act that would require HHS Secretary to suspend regulations affecting the payment for hip and knee replacements. Is that correct? I think the BPCI program that, to which I think you referred, I'm a strong supporter of because it keeps it, the decision making. I'm not asking you about the, why you support it. I'm just asking. Did you buy the stock and then did you introduce a bill that would be helpful to the companies you just bought stock in? The, the, the stock was bought by a direct by a broker who was uh, making those decisions. I wasn't making those decisions. Okay, so you said you weren't making those decisions. Uh, let me just make sure that I understand. These are your stock trades, though. They are listed under your name, right? They're made on my behalf, yes. Okay. Was the stock purchased through an index fund? I don't believe so. Uh, through a passively managed mutual fund? No, it's a broker. It's through a, an it's actively a broker. managed mutual fund? It's a broker directed account. a blind account. trust? So let's just be clear. This is not just a stock broker, someone you pay to handle the paperwork. This is someone who buys stock at your direction. This is someone who buys and sells the stock you want them to buy and sell. Not true. So when you found out... That's that not true, Senator. Well, because you decide not to tell them, wink, wink, nod, nod, and we're all just supposed to believe that? It, 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 it's what members of this committee, it's the man I'm not members of this them. committee. Well, so I understand that, but, it, but it's important to appreciate this. that that's the case. Then I want to understand, when you found out that your broker had made this trade without your knowledge, did you reprimand her? What, what, what I did well, was comply. Well, that she made it. What I did was comply. Did you did you sell the stock? What I did was comply with the rules of the House in an ethical and legal and above board manner and in a transparent way. You know, all right, let's time, just stipulate. Time has expired, Senator Warren. Uh, I believe Senator Murkowski went over by two minutes. Did I miss read the clock here? By two minutes. Uh, I think that's what it was, and I've just burned another 15 seconds. Well, keep burning them, and you'll be up to two minutes. Okay. So... Your periodic transaction report notes that you were notified of this trade on April 4th, 2016. Did you take additional actions after that date to advance your plan to help the company that you now own stock in? I'm offended by the insinuation, Senator. Well, let me just read what you did. You may be offended, but here's what you did. Congressional records show that after you were personally notified of this trade, which you said you didn't know about in advance, that you added 23 out of your bill's 24 co-sponsors, that also after you were notified of this stock transaction, you sent a letter to CMS calling on them to cease all current and future plan mandatory initiatives under the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Innovation. And just so there was no misunderstanding about who you were trying to help, you specifically mentioned... Two minutes are up, Senator Warren. Thank you.